Oh, you didn't see the other family. Oh, big fan of your work, yes, bro. I, I, I follow you, you know, Yo. on social media and networks. <laughs> thank goodness, because I've always appreciated. I met you quite some time before. Right. right. This is dope, yo. Because the transition of where we were in October 28 to right now yeah. is uh, all different. We have okay. way more to show. So I mean, and plus, you know, we have to note something that they do is, you know, they bring awareness and community of like, the toll of the violence, you know, that's going on. Sure. They have to remind them that this violence is violence. They have to be out there, like, yo, you know, you're really doing nothing, you know. Like yeah. they, and then they influence them, you sure. know. So I look at that real heroes, real people True. aspect. Yeah, that would be really cool. Okay. What this? Where is the? That's the part there. That's the path. So you got to draw this part. Just imagine this. We're doing my study for writing and creating and character development. It was saying that the most successful characters are the archetypal characters, the ones that remind you of something but have a signature, you know, detail to them that makes them unique. Like, Deadpool looks exactly like Spidey. Something about Deadpool is a lot more funkier and a lot more like, I want to watch a Deadpool movie before I even watch Homecoming. I am so glad to hear you say the word archetypal. Archetypal, yes. I'm really excited to have Mark here. He is, like I said, uh, letting you guys in on the comic book he is creating. He also has does have t-shirts that you guys should check out that are really beautiful. The city does need you. And you should definitely check these out because it helps him keep creating his art. It helps him uh, realize this comic book uh, that's being created. If they don't respect knowledge, expect them not to acknowledge it. Cause I'm trying to create a world where real heroes get paid about a hundred thousand hourly. 